it's Hyper Halloween. Next up for this year's Hyper Halloween is the creature feature film Leviathan. Or, as I like to call it, The Thing Under the Sea. Leviathan is a 1989 sci-fi horror film about underwater researchers that discover a sunken Russian vessel and something sinister lurking deep inside. Leviathan has an awesome cast that includes Peter Weller, Ernie Hudson, Amanda Pays, and Daniel Stern. Leviathan revolves around geologist Stephen Beck, played by Peter Weller, and his crew of undersea miners. They're hired to do some deep sea drilling when one character, Six Pack, played by Daniel Stern, finds the sunken Russian ship Leviathan. The crew salvage a safe containing various items from the sunken vessel and bring those items back to their facility. The safe contains paper records that details mysterious deaths surrounding their crew, a flask, a bottle of vodka, and a video log from the captain. Alcohol isn't allowed in the undersea facility though, so Beck locks it away with the rest of the information. Six Pack, however, manages to swipe the flask before Beck can see it. Beck and the lead doctor watch the videotape left by the Russian captain and determine that the ship was sunk on purpose. The crew end up breaking into the lockup and snag the bottle of vodka, only to find out that Beck swapped it out with water. Six Pack ends up going back to his bunk to drink the contents of the flask and he ends up sharing it with one of the other crewmates. Of course, we find out that the flask is contaminated with the mutagen that quickly affects Six Pack. Six Pack goes to the infirmary the following day where he shows symptoms of a hangover, but is saying that it feels a thousand times worse. It's also discovered that he has lesions all over his back. Beck tries to get an emergency evac, but the company the crew works for thinks that it wouldn't look good on them, so of course, they stall. Six Pack gets worse very quickly. The lesions spread and the doctor takes a look under the microscope and sends the data from the sample to the surface. The doc gets the results back saying that the samples was an organism of unknown origin. Another expert comes back with the response that he's going through a genetic alteration. And then the movie shows that Six Pack dies of said genetic alteration. The lesions had spread all over his body. The rest of the crew is brought in for examination. Six Pack was one of two crewmates to go onto the sunken vessel. So the other is examined and shown to be fine. The other crewmate that shared the contents of the flask, though, ends up offering herself after finding Six Pack dead. The two bodies are laid next to each other, and Beck brings the other crew up to speed on what had happened. They hear a noise in the infirmary and quickly go to investigate. What they find is that the two dead bodies are beginning to merge into one creature. The crew attempt to get rid of the new creature, but end up being attacked. The creature that spawns from the virus, bacteria, or mutagen is reminiscent of a lamprey. A lamprey is a nasty blood sucker that sucks the blood from sea life. Like the real life counterpart, the monsters in the movie also like to feed on blood. We see it attack and drink the blood of multiple crewmates throughout the film. The rest of the film plays out like your typical monster movie. It is really reminiscent of John Carpenter's The Thing and Ridley Scott's Alien. Now, while I compare Leviathan to The Thing and Alien, I don't mean anything bad by it. Leviathan was panned by critics for sharing similarities between The Thing and Alien, but hey, if you're going to emulate the best, might as well choose two of the best out there. Honestly, I don't have much else to say about the plot, so let's move on to the creature effects. They're awesome. The creature in the movie was designed by Stan Winston, who is the genius mind behind The Terminator, Jurassic Park, Predator, Aliens, and The Thing. You know, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Regardless, the design is great. Overall, Leviathan is a pretty solid monster movie. It's similar to other great films out there, and you know what? It tries its best to live up to them. The creature looks great and is very scary. It's a movie that I highly recommend if you're looking for a good monster flick this Halloween season. <laughs>